Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, I'm gonna be sharing the fastest way that I have found to get snowflakes, and you guys are gonna need this. At the time of recording, there is one day and 20 hours left until this event, and by the time this video is posted, there's probably about a day left. And if you don't know how this works, you need snowflakes to open this present for a chance to get these cereals. And two new cereals will be coming out when this timer hits zero. Now there is a bunch of ways to get snowflakes. The way the game promotes is going into auctions and finding snowflake safes. As you can see, I have four of them right here. These usually have enough snowflakes in them to get one open on the present. So 250, 250, 250, 250. Sometimes more, sometimes less, but that's the base. The next way we can get snowflakes is zooming all the way out and finding them on the map. One is right there and we can just run over and collect it. This usually gives you between 5 and I'd say 12 snowflakes, so definitely not a lot, but if you find one in passing, it's kind of nice to just pick them up. We're gonna grab this one too, and then I'm gonna show you guys a method that I found, and uh, I don't think it's really being talked about. If you are unfamiliar with the gem farm strategy, it's basically getting a bunch of items from the store. The store auction is what I'm talking about, this one right here. And then you just put all of them up. It doesn't matter how much you sell them for, but you could definitely farm gems like this. Who would have known you can farm snowflakes too. So right now we have 25,412, and now we're gonna accept all of these offers and see how many more we can get. The coolest part about this is you can find the Christmas safes in the auction when you're doing them. I found two of these while collecting just these items right here. And then you also get gems because this is the gem farm, but also you get snowflakes. So look at that guys, I'm getting gems, snowflakes, literally everything I could need. And you don't need these conveyors, by the way, that just makes it very easy to accept. Like, look at these snowflakes. That's pretty decent. I'd say I got about 50 snowflakes with that haul right there and a crashed Roblox. Looking back at it, more like 30 snowflakes. But if we take into account that we could do this at any auction and also get the Christmas safes as well. Now, I don't know which way's faster. I would say it depends on your luck. Because if you're pulling one of these every time you go into an auction, well, I'd say that's the fastest way to do it. If you're not having much luck getting the Christmas safes, I would say doing the gem farm method is super sick because not only do you get Christmas safes, you get gems and you get snowflakes on top of what you're gonna get out of these safes. Let's run it back one more time. We are gonna go to the store auction and we're just gonna buy the first unit and only take home the smaller stuff that fits on pedestals. So I just did two auctions. I bought one unit in each one and I was able to pretty much fill up the shelves, at least up to where my conveyors stop. Now, all we do is spam accept on all of these and look at that, four, three, three, four. I think we just got like 12 snowflakes right there plus gems. And then if we spam all of these, three, five, there's just snowflakes like every time on this one, just like that probably 30-ish to 40 more snowflakes. So 30 to 40 snowflakes every, I'd say three to four minutes, depending how fast you are with the auction. I do wanna test one more thing in this video just to see what the fastest method is. If we're getting, let's just round up to 40 snowflakes every three minutes, I'd say 15 minutes would get us one of these snowflake safes. So what I'm gonna do now is spend 15 minutes and the auctions, and the one that has the highest chance to drop the safes, according to the game, is Sky Plaza. So, not Sky Plaza, just the Sky Auction. What am I talking about? So I'm gonna spend 15 minutes in this auction that has the highest rate of dropping them, or at least that's what the game tells us, and I'm gonna see if we get any. If we get more than one, looking for safes is the faster method. We only get one, well, it's about tied. I'm also gonna be looking for conveyors while I'm spending these 15 minutes. But I'll see you guys in 15 minutes and let you know what happens. All right, guys, I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is I got to, I don't know, man. I didn't find any conveyors. There's no good news at all. I didn't find any conveyors and I didn't find any of the Christmas safes within 15 minutes. So in my expert opinion, I do believe that the gem farm method is all around the best way to get snowflakes 
at this point in time, unless you're a rich player and you can just buy the Christmas safes off of people. I have seen a lot of people doing that, but I tend to believe that uh, the people watching my videos are a bit newer to the game. So I would just set up whatever podiums you can, and if you have conveyors, toss those down just to make it easier to accept. If you don't, they're not important at all. Fill up your podiums, and then just accept every offer. The price does not matter. You are going to be gaining snowflakes and gaining gems, which is uh, sort of a double whammy. It's actually three things because you get the gems, the snowflakes, and you still have a chance at finding these Christmas safes. So I would say this is indeed the best way to get up your snowflakes. And if you don't really feel like grinding and you just want to I don't know, walk around the map. It is far from the most optimized way to get snowflakes, but it's also the easiest. You just keep running around, boom, here is five snowflakes. Oh, it was 10. I wonder if I spent 15 minutes running around the map, how many snowflakes I would get. You'd have to get over 250 for that to be like an even better way. Now I'm just curious. I don't think we're gonna test that one out today, but we might. If this event goes on throughout the whole of December, if that does turn out to be a faster way, I will make an updated video for that. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing Mr. Row Builder on the leaderboards at 93. Just saying, a little flex flex. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, where I show you how I got to 1 billion nets.